watching News 8. We're talking about the Harlem Globetrotters today. I've got El Gato Melendez in the studio with me. Welcome. Great to have you here. How are you doing? Great to meet you. Great uh, nice to meet you. All right, let's start right there with right. the name, El Gato. Oh, uh, where did that come from? Well, I am the first Puerto Rican in 93 years to be part of the team. So growing up in Puerto Rico, everybody played baseball. But the basketball court that everybody played was far from my house. So I asked my dad. For a shortcut, he said to cut through the shoe cane field. So one day, I go fix a ham sandwich up to school, and I'm walking down the trail, and I drop some of the ham. <laughs> For some reason, there's a bunch of cats there that start going crazy with the ham. They follow me all the way to the basketball court. I get there. My friends see the cats, and they're like, yo, what's going on with the cats? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and they start calling me. Oh, God, from that point on, the nickname, it stuck. The nickname stuck. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, first uh, ever... Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican born player to play mm -hmm. for the Globetrotters. Yes. What does it mean to you? Man, it is just a privilege and an honor. You know, like when I started, well, the first time I saw the Globetrotters was on Scooby Doo. Yeah. So you always thought, you know, hey, these guys are cartoons. And yeah. then you, you start learning all that they were for real and all the things they had done, not just for the game of basketball, but also as ambassador, ambassadors of Goodwill. So once I get that change, I never say yes to anything that fast to when I got the chance to become a Globetrotter. And, and now being part of the things we do, you know, we visit hospitals. We're going to visit a hospital yeah. later on today here in town. We visit schools. We give a lot of laughter and a lot of memories to people, a lot of positive things. So can I get better than that? A lot of people want to be a Globetrotter. Not everybody can. you got to have the skills too, right? Uh, well, I mean, That's, at first, uh, you, you, you have to be a, a good basketball player uh -huh. and also be a good person. But then later on is when you start learning all this fun stuff that we do with the basketball that everybody loves, and you can come and check it out here in town. Come on, you got to roll around the arm. There you go. <laughs> it's the cold weather, buddy. <laughs> Fan-powered world tour, uh, Saturday, February 9th at the Blue Cross Arena. What are folks going to experience? Well, fan power. What we're doing this year is that we're actually giving the power to control the game to the fans. Normally, we like the ones that just set up the, the theme and everything. No, no, we're going to give the chance to people to control the game the way they want it. Okay. If you come bored and like all oh, like that, no, nah, we're going to make sure that everybody, come, everybody comes in have a good time, dictate the, the, the way the game's going to go, and it's going to be a lot more interaction. You know, before we interact, but now it's going to be even more. So come and check us out. We're going to have the acrobatic dunkers, a four-point line, all the tricks. We're going to have female best, uh, players as well, so it's going to be amazing. Uh, well, we'll look for that coming up on the ninth. Great yes, to have sir. you in the studio, El Gato. Right, Great to me. meet you. Yes, sir. He always lands on his feet, right? Your chance to check out the Globetrotters again coming up February 9th uh, at the Blue Cross Arena. It's at 2 o'clock. A couple of ways to get the tickets right at the box office or online at harlemglobetrotters.com. We're sharing that link on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.